hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle hi how are you all doing I hope everybody is um, as, as good as possible and uh, feeling as well as possible and um, the weather in the UK um, has been cloudy so not um, sunny but it's still been quite humid quite warm and um, hi if you're new to my channel my name's Rebecca and um, please subscribe if you haven't already done so and well done and a thumbs up for doing so and a big thank you um, I really do appreciate it today I'm going to be doing budget travel news and um, 10 exciting facts at June 2023 part 3 um, so I'm going to jump right into it now. Um, RD.com um, says um, where I'm getting the information. Number one, uh, budget your trip uh, for daily costs. Um, estimate at a cert at certain destinations. Uh, say Nastro also welcomes. So um, each destination. Uh, you vis visit then budget it um, or each day on holiday or trip do a budget for that day and then obviously add it, add it up for the total holiday and it will basically tell you how much you need to take with you or how much in total your trip's going to cost it just gives you an idea and uh, number two research um, under the radar places less height and um, locals everybody dreams of jetting uh, to Greece uh, for their summer holiday but Albania is a fraction of the cost and uh, comes equipped with beautiful glittering coastlines at uh, Nastro says it's so if you want to still go to the Mediterranean um, and cut your costs then again choose Albania which is a less tourist country than Greece um, and again it's a fraction of the price so you're getting more for your money basically and uh, number three uh, plan ahead as far as possible keep in mind that um, if you're booking a hotel and um, in advance a smart uh, idea is uh, to book a refundable room uh, just in case your, uh, your plans change like say um you, you can't visit or go on holiday that time for whatever reason and um, even if it is a, a bit more expensive a refundable room is better than an, a non-refundable room or a, or a refundable holiday is still better than a non-refundable holiday because you've got that added protection if you need to cancel you can get a refund um, number four um, rental cars often fluctuate in price and offer free cancellations so book early and um, then continue checking the rates uh, for better deals um, with the higher company with the car hire rental company that you um, that you're traveling with and um, to see if it's possible if you could get a free upgrade etc and number five explore different lodging options e.g motel versus hotel uh, that's really great if you're tra uh, going to the united states um, because they have um, hotels and motels but motels are usually cheaper than hotels so you just need to weigh up the options and um, number six even if you're traveling um, with a group location matters um, on a jam-packed weekend trip even 
um, even if you're going just for one night then again the location of your accommodation matters because um, if you have to include costs uh, from travelling on the outskirts of somewhere to get, uh, get into the town or city centre then you've obviously got to add that into the, uh, the costs um, as well say so if you need to um, get a tram bus um, etc or group in with a tax or, or group in with a taxi um, but again taxes again in the UK at least it can run really expensive especially around say the Lon London area um, so obviously it is cheaper to go by bus or or you could get a tram or a, a train and you just need to weigh up the travel, uh, travel options better still you might pay that little bit more uh, for a centre location hotel but you could be miles better off or central accommodation you could be miles better off because you don't need to then pay um, for travel costs etc to get to where you want to go to um, number seven make sure you always read the fine print to see if your hotel or your accommodation charges mysterious resort fees these are often included in your rate but if you if you still read the small print it'll tell you whether your resort fees are included in the rate And uh, number eight, uh, consider all-inclusive resort or cruise or an all-inclusive holiday because you've got a lot of your um, meals and a lot of, say, your activities as well in for free. Um, sometimes you have to pay extra for certain things, um, but the majority of it's... Um, all included in the price um, number nine um, you can rent an Airbnb or an Urbo it can have many advantages uh, for traveling on a budget say also say hostels and camping and glamping um, again you can weigh up um, basically all types of accommodation to see what's going to be the best value for money um, and uh, last but not least um, number 10 um, jump on you can jump on a last minute bargain for a hotel many hotels um, want to fill the accommodation so they may offer you a last minute bargain um, just basically to fill the rooms up and um, but obviously you, I wouldn't count on this and um, it's just if a hotel needs to fill its rooms then they could offer you an exceptionally good deal to just to fill the hotel up so you might strike lucky with a last minute deal but it really depends because a lot of accommodation and the hotels get booked up before especially in the summer or if um, the place is holding an event uh, say like um, Wimbledon at London um, a lot of the hotels can be packed out for that um, or j uh, just etc so that's just an excellent uh, example um, or beach holidays um, hotels or accommodation that 
are actually on the beach uh, they can get full up uh, more so I would like to say uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow um, for um, the most exciting or best uh, beach resorts all, uh, all around the world so please keep watching and bye for now thank you thank and i hope you have as good day or night as possible wherever you are in the world thank you bye